I'm Emanuele, the data guy. In this video, I'll walk you through the implications of the Technology Readiness Level, or TRL, for life science companies applying to the EIC Accelerator. Every applicant has to start from TRL 6. That means all TRL 5 activities must already be completed before sending an application. For life science companies, each TRL comes with a very specific set of activities. So, let's look at some practical examples to make this crystal clear. Focusing on what should be finished before applying and what can actually be funded by the ESC Accelerator. Let's begin with medtech companies. By the time you apply, all verification and validation work must already be done. Under verification, this means, for example, design verification, process verification, and analytical testing should have been successfully executed. For validation, activities such as biological safety, performance validation, and risk validation must also be complete. In other words, all preclinical validation activities must be successfully completed before submitting an application. So, the natural question is, what can actually be funded by the ES Accelerator? The answer, everything from TRL 6 to TRL 9, which in practical terms covers all activities starting from first in human clinical studies preparation onwards. To make things easier, we've created an infographic that shows the full breakdown of TRL activities stage by stage. If you need deeper insights into the TRL requirements for your medtech company, just send me a direct message on LinkedIn. Now, let's discuss pharma and biotech. Let's begin with the TRL5 activities that must be successfully completed before applying. At this stage, all preclinical work should be finished. This includes both GLP in vivo studies and all chemistry, manufacturing, and controls activities. In simple terms, you should be ready to submit an IND or CTA application. From TRL 6 onwards, the EIC Accelerator can provide the funding of any step in your clinical development pathway. To make this clearer, take a look at our infographic, which illustrates the breakdown of TRL activities step by step. The TRL 6 requirement is one of the most important factors to consider before applying for the EIC Accelerator, especially for life science companies. If you want to discuss this further and gain deeper insights, you can reach out to us through our website or simply direct message me on LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.